We'll start with the famous example called the train paradox. Imagine a train traveling quickly. I mean very quickly, like approaching speeds close to the speed of light. In this example, lightning strikes the front and back ends of the rapidly moving train. Both the back end strike event and the front end strike event are observable by the flashes of light. The ground observer is standing in the middle between both ends of the train. When the lightning strikes both ends of the train, the ground observer sees two flashes of light reach him at the same time. Now consider the observer on the train who is riding in the middle of the train. The ground observer sees the train observer riding towards the flash of light at the front of the train. The ground observer also sees the train observer riding away from the flash of light at the back of the train. It takes a little bit of time for either flash to travel to the train observer. The train observer is moving towards the front flash while moving away from the flash in the back, so the ground observer would expect to see the front flash reach the train observer first, followed by the back flash second. And in fact, this is exactly what the train observer sees. They don't see a simultaneous lightning strike at both ends of the train, but they instead see the lightning strike the front of the train, followed by the lightning strike the back of the train at different times. But this is not the end of the story. Because you see, the train observer was standing right in the middle of the train. Additionally, they know from their basic physics that the speed of light is a constant. So if the light travels from the front of the train to the train observer, and if light travels from the back of the train to the train observer, all at the same speed of light, and leaving at the same time, they would have to reach the train observer at the same time. But they don't. The only possible explanation for the train observer, given their circumstances, is that the actual time that the lightning struck the front had to be different from the time that the lightning struck the back. The two observers disagree with their observations of reality. So which observer is right and which observer is wrong? Well, actually, both observers are correct. As strange as this sounds, there is really no single answer to indicate that one bolt of lightning struck the front versus the back of the train. It's entirely relative to who is observing the results.